the number one fundamental of the golf swing coming to you right after this. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new, thanks for joining us. If you've been here before, obviously glad to have you back. If you haven't subscribed, please take care of that. It helps us grow the channel and that's good for everybody. In this video, we're gonna talk about the number one fundamental of the golf swing. What it is, what it's not. Okay, so let's dig in. What is the number one fundamental of the golf swing? Is it how you hold the club? Is it your posture, ball position, the fabulous four grip alignment stance posture? Not really, okay? I'm not saying those are not important, but we've all seen players who have pretty nice grip, pretty nice setup, ball position, everything looks good. Might not hit the ball that well compared to another fellow or lady who doesn't seem to have those looking quite as good. So the number one fundamental of the golf swing is, golf swing is a circle, right? It's a circular motion. But it's not vertical, it's not horizontal. It's on the angle that your golf clubs are designed on. So golf swing is a circular motion on an inclined plane. So then the question becomes, what makes a circle a circle? Okay, I'm not trying to be tricky, it's obvious. Center is what makes a circle. Golf swing or a circle cannot be a circle if the center moves laterally, horizontally, in either, any direction. So if we keep the center stable, we can make it a circular motion. We just have to make it on an inclined plane. When we don't keep the center stable, that's when all the havoc starts to show up. Okay, so we agree the golf swing is a circular motion. How do we understand that a little deeper? How do we find the center of the circle? So with my time with the golfing machine and some time with Mike and Andy from Stack and Tilt, there was the common information that the left shoulder would be the center of the circle anatomically, okay? Not disagreeing, but just showing that if this joint, left center, sorry, this left shoulder joint is the center which the club swings around, then we would have to play golf with never rotating, never moving the chest, never moving the hips, because that would move the left shoulder. But it's a good reference point for ball position, for sure. And to understand that from a front view, this club's arcing up, arcing back down, and arcing back up again. But since we can't keep the left shoulder still and play golf like that and hit it anywhere, we have to be able to rotate then the center point becomes basically your head, okay? So if we can keep the head stable, we can make a circular motion on an inclined plane and have the highest percentage shot to hit clubs out of the middle in the right direction, um, controlling the loft, controlling the face, etc. When we introduce lateral motion or vertical motion, and we're gonna focus today on the backswing because if you don't get that right, you've got much less time to fix it in the downswing, then we at least we have the best opportunity, okay? Now there's all, there's all kinds of opinions in the past. Uh, shift your weight to the right, shift your weight to the left, okay? My point is this, if you don't hit golf balls a lot, and I mean much more than you think is a lot, and you have an, ins if you don't have an insane amount of talent and a huge amount of time to practice what you have to understand about moving the head. Head has ears, ears help control balance. Head has eyes, eyes help control depth perception. So any movement of that head in the backswing has to be adjusted in what? The two to three tenths of a second in the downswing. Balance, depth perception. Even if you could maintain those perfectly with moving your head side to side, just the basic concept that your brain has calibrated to a golf ball on the ground, there's the position, okay? It's not there anymore, I have to fix it. So it's not just about agreeing with the golfing machine or Mike and Andy, it's about the concept of geometry, circular motion, 
making that the easiest for the rest of us who don't have time to practice six hours a day. Okay, so there's different drills you can do to keep your head steady in the backswing. I'm gonna give you a very simple one because we don't need 15, okay? Now let's go over a basic drill that you will be able to do hitting golf balls once you get a little feel from this to help you rotate, side bend correctly, because we don't just want to eliminate the side to side motion in the head, we also want to eliminate too much, you know, extending, head goes back, etc. So, what you want to do, first of all, is just take your golf club, stand up tall, okay, turn level to the floor as much as you can, and then if you want to, start this drill with your face also rotating away from the ball. And it's not going to happen in your real swing, but just to give you an analogy, if my face rotated with my chest and hips, then I would tell you to pour the water out of your left ear, okay? And you go, well, how much do I dip down? Good question. So let's do that from this view. <coughs> Turn as much as you can while keeping your head in the middle of your feet. Because if you can't do that standing up, we got no chance doing it from the, the bent over posture. So now let's pour the water out of your ear. And then I would tell you to take your left hand off the club. If you can reach down and touch about the middle of your left kneecap for a left-handed golfer, sorry, right-handed golfer, you pretty much side bent and rotated together. So one more time from a front view. Rotating, keeping everything centered, okay? No hips going that way, no head going that way or that way because you have to be able to obviously just turn and keep everything centered. Side bend, touch your knee. There we go. Other things you can look for on the video, if you film yourself, this part of your spine should look relatively vertical. This side should be a little bit slanted. What we don't want to see is that at the top or that, okay? We're trying to keep the head stable. So what we did there was combine two movements into one to make one basic drill. Side bend, rotate, trying to keep the head level and stable side to side. If you'll work on that, do some mirror work first, okay? You can always put a piece of tape on a mirror if you need to, or there's mirror vision app if you want to use that to help you see what you're doing in live time. But let's develop that a little bit, okay, before we just go rush out to the range and try to hit golf balls. But understanding that that's the biggest thing you can do. Once you get a reasonable grip, stance, alignment, posture, learning to develop that ability to keep the head stable is going to help your game much more than all the other 400 things you've been trying to work on, okay? Hope you enjoyed it. Let's give it a like. Got any comments that are useful, write them below, okay? Thanks.